third day at Lima 2019, today we're focusing on the MRSS project. As part of its 1525 transformation plan, the Royal Malaysian Navy is planning to acquire three multi-role support ships between 2021 and 2035. The Navy is still trying to secure funding from the government for this program, but several exhibitors at Lima 2019 are showcasing their proposals. We have been uh, engaging with the Malaysian uh, Navy uh, with regard to the um, MRSS, which uh, stands for the Multi-Role uh, Support Ship, and uh, been engaged in this uh, program for many uh, years. And the model you see uh, uh, on my back is um, the, the design which we tweaked to fit uh, the needs of the Malaysian Navy, as we say, fit for purpose. Um, and it's the uh, MRSS from the Enforcer series from Damen which is a proven design, uh, proven because we, uh, we use the same platform in the Netherlands Navy but also in the UK Navy. And this one is the Enforcer 10,000, um, which is a displacement of uh, 11,700 tons, 160 meters uh, long, uh, which can embark uh, five helicopters, three medium weight helicopters in hangar, two medium weight helicopters on the deck, it can do simultaneous uh, boat and helicopter operations in the docked position. So I think that's a specific uh, an advantage of this design if you compare it to many other uh, designs. And it provides you the flexibility so to quickly load and unload uh, troops and equipment close to the shore where you only would like to be for a certain time uh, under war conditions. Um, the ship can load uh, 16 main battle tanks and 16 uh, lorries and medical uh, equipment or other equipment to the equivalent. But uh, the cars and tanks just mentioned fulfills the naval requirements and even more because we still have 700 square meters uh, left. The ship can do about 20 knots on diesels which also fulfills their requirement. Um, we have some um, uh, armament like the 76 millimeter gun and, and smaller guns also just to fulfill the requirements. It's uh, based on a modular uh, concept which we can locally build. We did site surveys and we can build uh, the ship uh, locally. We are engaged with the local industries, uh, understanding the industrial uh, collaboration uh, plan from the Malaysian uh, government, uh, where we can uh, fully fulfill their requirements and their ambitions and we can build it locally. So now they talk about two ships, we can do it locally. Basically what we are proposing is the design of the BPC that we've made for the French Navy and the Egyptian Navy. The main element of the design is the modularity. It's a ship which was designed for the French Navy which can be both an helicopter carrier or a traveling hospital or a disembarkment boat. You just need to move some of the section inside. So it can be a military vessel or it can be a disaster relief vessel. Uh, this is a specific uh, element of our design um, on which we think uh, which is really fitted for the Malaysian uh, project. We listen to the customer and based on what the customer is looking for we modify the design but as I said it's in the DNA of the ship and then we produce with local partners the design as it is. Uh, one of the main elements, electric propulsion, which allows great maneuverability, which our competitors don't have, but also we try to produce as much as we can locally. And here we're having discussions with the local shipyard. The ship would be built locally. The one, two, three ships that the Malaysian Navy would require would be built locally with local partners, as we've done on the LCS, uh, which is in service in the Malaysian Navy. Because we localize the production, we also transfer to local partners the ability to support the ship through, its, through her life.
So far, we are proposing our uh, our, our RPD, which service in Chinese uh, uh, PRA Navy as well. We call it uh, 071E, export version of uh, RPD. First of all, it's a mutual design, which have been already or have already tested and certified by our client. Secondly, according to the request of the MRSS, we successfully uh, enlarge the flight deck so as to uh, take off and landing simultaneously three medium-sized uh, helicopter. As well, we have enough uh, space to install the weapons and uh, other hospital function and commanding function. So far, the Royal Malaysian Navy do not give us uh, further details regarding the multifunction. For example, how the rooms for the hosp hospital function and the replenishment function, whatever, not to go in details. But our ship do have some redundancy on the space and functional requirement. I do believe we can fulfill them. most of their requests. Do our best. This is uh, our own design the, for Royal Malaysian Navy. The, the length is 163 meters, then the breadth is 24 meters. This multi role support ship can, can carry it until five helicopters and more than. Uh, uh, 24 uh, tanks inside and, and all uh, multifunction uh, for Royal Malaysian Navy. So far we have uh, discussed with uh, Royal Malaysian Navy. We will uh, fulfill all requirements from them. Then uh, we have uh, discussed, but since the change of president, uh, the, the tender uh, for a moment uh, uh, hold, then we are now entering again to, to uh, re refresh the, this project. We have uh, delivered successfully to also to Philippine Navy with a uh, short uh, 123 meter. And now we develop a longer LPD uh, with uh, 163 meter. This shipyard of Turkey was also showcasing its MRSS concept. It is a modern and stealthy LPD design, mainly relying on a 2,000 square meter flight deck, which can spot up to three medium-sized helicopters, while two more can be stored in the flight deck hangar. The MRSS cargo capability includes 1,800 square meter roll-on roll-off deck. It is big enough to accommodate two LCMs for heavy cargo needs such as ship to shore transport. A launch and recovery system can be mounted on the right side for fast interceptor craft launch and recovery. For weapons, it is fitted with a 76 mm main gun, two 30 mm auxiliary gun, and two 12.7 mm machine guns. We have the good stage record in Korea. Actually, we are the sole provider for CMS in Korea. We've been providing more than 80 systems and over than 30 years in Korea. So uh, based on that uh, legacy, we are trying to enter the global market. And we also have the uh, experience of providing the uh, Malaysian Navy the training ship, so we want to participate in the MRSS program this time. First of all, uh, Malaysia Navy want to get some transport technology, and we actually uh, get te tra uh, transport technology from the uh, advanced country in the past. Now we can develop our own CMS by ourselves. I think we are the best partner to uh, for the transport technology first, and also we are, our solution is 
very cost-effective solution. So that's our competitiveness. Thank you.